Hey, what's up everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and I'm excited to be walking you guys through the new Cylindrum version 3.0 upgrade. The Cylindrum was originally designed and created as an experimental live performance piece, but the project quickly shifted to what became the sample library. The open-end cylindrical air columns created by the tubes provides a deep, bouncy synth-like tone with a strong fundamental note. The closed-end articulation creates a fundamental with odd harmonics and overtones, similar to an array of tuned tom-tom drums, which makes this an experimental percussionist's dream come true. The Cylindrum features three main articulation types, dry fat, dry small, and hall. The dry articulations were recorded in a booth very close and wide stereo. The hall articulation was recorded in a large, bright stone tile in glass hall. The 4-inch ABS tubes were recorded in 13 individual root notes, 10 round robins and up to 7 velocity layers each. 30 individual root notes of the 1.5-inch PVC pipe were recorded with over 25 velocity layers and 2 round robins. The dry fat also features a muted articulation. As always, we've packed our custom user interface with lots of great sound shaping controls that give you the flexibility to warp the sound in many ways. You have control over volume, swell, attack, release, transient offset, vibrato, filters, tuning, articulation switching, crossfading, layering, and so much more. Above these controls in the advanced tab, you'll also find an adaptable LFO system. You can also apply your choice of 13 low pass, high pass, and effects filters with assignable modulation targets such as velocity, mod wheel, expression, and more. You can also use our customizable arpeggiator with a built-in velocity sequencer table and controls over arp direction, note timing, swing, randomization, and duration. The user interface controls are rounded out by our modular effects rack window with 18 different DSP effects modules that you can assign in any 10 available slots in any order that you wish. You'll find classic phase, flanger, delay, distortion, amping cab simulators, compressors, EQ, rotator, and so much more. In the main NKI, you have the ability to enable and disable each of the four layers. Locking two or more layers will let you manipulate the settings for those at the same time. Diving deeper into the controls of this library, using the swell knob, you can have it set to normal or invert. So let's try inverting one of the layers and then we'll learn the MIDI CC to the swell knob and crossfade between them. This knob has a drop down window with normal and pad options. This is a great way to add more pad like effects to more percussive sounds or shorten them to reinforce the sounds that are there. Let's go ahead and play around with this a little bit.
Each layer also has its own filter knob. The drop down window lets you choose between 12 different filter types. With the pitch knob, you can alter the coarse and fine pitch. Coarse adjusts it by semitones and fine adjusts it by cents. In the advanced tab, these are the master controls for the overall sound layers of the library. Here you have options for LFO, filter, and the built-in arpeggiator. The LFO section has five different waveforms to choose from, including sine, square, triangle, sawtooth, and random. Target lets you choose the different parameters that the LFO affects, as well as beat, intensity, and fade. Filter gives you the same 12 filter types as featured for each individual layer, but you will affect the overall sound. Except here you can change the source of the resonance and frequency for volume, mod wheel, expression, and key position and graph. Below that you have the step sequencer table. This works when the source is set to graph. Then you have the controls for resonance, frequency, and invert. The ARP section lets you create, save, and load your own arpeggios, rhythmic patterns, and step sequences. To turn it on, click the radio button next to the ARP label. There's 20 different arpeggiator presets to choose from. Let's go ahead and check some of these out and see how they sound. From there you can modify the preset and save your own to use later on. You have three different modes to choose from including normal, hold, and hold plus minus. The table steps value adds the velocity steps that will be cycled through in the sequence. You can double click to change the value or simply drag up and down to add steps. Below that you have controls for swing, random, duration, direction, and beat. Cylindrum also comes with 20 custom effects presets designed as a creative starting point to inspire you or add to your compositions.
If you'd like to hear demos and learn more about Cylindra, make sure to visit our website at soundiron.com and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Cylindrum videos. As always, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.